Thank you, Dave. And uh, joining us now is Steve Gray, one of the primary supporters of the casino project in Lynn County. And Steve, this afternoon you call this uh, water park proposal an empty promise. Does that mean you don't think it would be built if the casino vote did fail? You know what's interesting, Bruce, is that a little over a year ago, Drew Skogman and I met with Dan Keel and talked to him about our plans to build a casino in Cedar Rapids. And we asked Dan to partner with us in this endeavor. And he thought about it, and I called him several times, and he never returned the call. And the next thing we knew that Dan said was, I'll do anything I can to oppose this. So yes, I, I think today's message was maybe a little desperate. I think it is an empty promise, and it's lacking a lot of details. And I keep coming back to what we're trying to do is create 600 great jobs, over $20 million a year of solid economic benefit to Lynn County, keep the money in Lynn County, and revitalize an area that really, really needs the help. Now this comes just four days before people are going to the polls. There have been a lot of absentee ballots requested for this uh, referendum, but are you able to counter this in any way, or are you going to counter it? Well, I, I think the best counter to this message is I, I believe in an and world versus an or world. If a water park is a good thing for Cedar Rapids and Lynn County, Mr. Keel should build the water park. Had we've disclosed where our lo location is going to be. He should build the water park just to the north of us. We won't open our operations until 2016. I think he suggested that um, if things went well, he could open in 2014, maybe 2015. So open the water park, and then we have the best of both worlds. And you know, quickly, are you still confident of winning Tuesday? You know, I'm confident in Lynn County. This, it, 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 we have 60 of the best investors behind this project we could possibly hope for. Our investors have created jobs. We employed thousands of people. We've given a lot of money to charities, and we really want to do the right thing for Lynn County. And I hope Lynn County recognizes that. All right. Thank you, Steve. Steve Gray from the Vote Yes group on the casino issue. From, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank Again, you, the uh, election coming up on March 5th. That's this Tuesday. Let's go now.